Welcome back to Smoke Down. Uh, today we're doing Field 31. I'm going to make a start on it anyway. I don't think we'll get it done. Uh, I'm going to carry on baling and collecting the bales, the straw bales. What I've got left over, I will shove it into the compost master and we will uh, use. We will uh, compost that and sell the compost. I've, I've been doing a few practice runs on a certain jobs here and to that end I made one change and just, just see if I can get someone a bit closer to it what does it do I've got rid of the west silage wagon and I've put in let's find my way through here first Down here, I've got probably where we're going too fast. I can't keep up with this. It's better. Let's see if we can leap the gate. Well, we can look at that. And we have gone back to my old favourite Stuart, mainly because it's a better silage wagon when that's in silage thing. Um, I say I've been practicing a few things. That's going. I will get rid of the plow and I will probably have to get a couple of conventional ones. And as I said that as was said that is actually a subsoiler. But most of the other things I'm keeping. And we just go back to that uh try to just bring this onto the field probably. I need to sort out a a run to get to set this back on automation and I better do that now set up a course I think we'll start here somewhere I normally I'll start near the middle field but because I've got crop destruction on through the uh, dirt mod I'm not going to bother I will just uh, start course recording and we just run a very quick course to take this back and dump this into the pit. I'm going to have to put some more into the uh, seed mast, some more seed, but we can do that a bit later. I will probably cheat some money in to make up for the equipment I found I need to change. This field, as I said, I think last time this metal will be, it's going to be a storage metal for well, silage bales and equipment it just isn't enough in the yard itself and also by putting this spread it out over this field I shouldn't get any performance hits or not too many we hope and we come through here Oh, we actually still got some uh, grain on there, which is handy. I can get rid of that. Uh, if I tip that in here. Should have really put this into the seed master, but uh, not bother about that now. There she goes. Back around to the field, and the big problem with doing this early is that uh, there's a good chance, unless I'm very lucky, we will I'll end up in the water with this. <coughs> Sorry about that, I just had, had a tick. Just gonna grab a drink. <coughs> I think my voice is going. Be grateful if you didn't all start cheering now. Right, it looks like we've got our empty this also we hope this will not do some stupid manoeuvre when we go back in here. This is uh, ripe we're gonna be we're cutting now. Bring it in nice and close to the edge here so we should us see almost everything. I think we'll leave it here. Hope we move it on a bit so we we do go and we're not going to run into the uh, header trailer. 
<coughs> that should do now we set that for that set that onto auto onto manual search lexion that there's waypoint drive calls and this is field 31 Two. so Oh, this is a big field, so we're not going to get too much done. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to trust this is going to work all right. Once we find the next job, which is here, which is this one, just need to that back up. Check we're still we're on auto load. Are we? Yep. All right. Man. Just. Just collect a few more bales. We haven't got any uh, straw bales in there yet. So we'll see how many we, we need. I think we need about four load. Put those into the uh, bale shed. I could actually put this onto auto, I believe, except for unloading. Pick this lot up here. Need to keep them picked up because uh, if you get any uh, which roll into the path of the uh, bailer, we we can get big problems. Pick this one up behind here. I think we better start this away next. Stop that. Start this away. We're going to need several more little jet. Uh, should be on a course here. Uh, so check everything's still on. Yeah, that seems he's okay. And back to the one we were on. Just have a quick look at the glance whilst we're driving up to the next few bales. I might as well pick this one up as we go past. And uh, now what's he doing there? I think we better have a look at that. Oh yeah. Back him off. Try to get too close to the combine. Let's just hope he can make that turn when it comes to it, or he will make that turn. And back it okay, going. We're weaving and out here until we get this full. Now, I could have used a bigger bale trailer, but I know what my driving's like. There's no way I was going to manage to reverse that into the bale shed. Not with the dolly on, so uh, go this way. This will be the, maybe the only field we bale. I think we will. We will put down straw on the others and we'll pick the straw up for the compost. There's most of the money to get this three million together. It's going to come from the BGA, I should imagine, and the compost. But I'm not going to just grow crops just for the BGA. I'm just going to fill this up once to give us a good head, head start. We will use the compost master. And whilst I'm on about new maps, and this is still a fairly new map, Stevie's Sherwood Park is it's on its final uh, beta test now. I've been playing with it for a couple of days now, and it's very good indeed. It's very nice. Well, we'll let him get on with that for a little while. 
just check around that everything else is okay. Now these very tight fields are not the best for course play and no one will combine but I'm determined to try and make it work. And this is, as I said before, this is the class is about the moment, some of the best combine models I've seen. They're not perfect by any means, but this is rather a nice unit. Now I just hope he isn't going to start running just yet because we need to get him on this, around this corner. Now, where's he going? Now the big problem here is, of course, I, I cut a bit to make a start and I must have missed something. An auto combine being auto combine doesn't like anything being missed. It hates an odd stalk somewhere. And if it's in its range, it will have it. I wouldn't want to be standing behind this thing. Oh, there, it's dusty. Oh, he seems to be doing okay. And the other one's on its way, and he should make it. No, before the bend. That's done. That's done. Yeah. Oh, let's get back to this one then. Let's get in the cab. We can see what we're doing. There was an interesting bit on PGSG about how many tractors you have on your farm and how many. Do you have one for each job? I tend not to. I, I personally like to have just enough, or even one, two, foo. I like the uh, trying to work out how I'm going to do the job with the equipment I've got, especially on something like uh, Old Ridge, and to a lesser extent this one. Although this is more, let's have a bit of fun. Just play this map. Uh, I'm going to try not to rent equipment for this map, although I will have to rent beet and potato harvesters, and if I need to plant any potatoes, a potato planter. I'm not going to harvest the fields which are already done, and that's full. So we're. I remember the way out of this 1010, I guess. The wrong way it's up here. It's a trouble. You, I've been playing. I just come off playing my test on oh, this to test out the uh, how to go about field nine. I think I got that sorted. But uh, trying to remember where I am at the moment. Alright, what we're going to do is back this in, hopefully, into the bale shed, dump these off, and go and get another, another set, and hope everything else is working on going. I want to move that seed up into the uh, shed. Now, that's going to be a big seed. I'm hoping that we can actually manage with that. Okay. It's a very long seed. I remember right, I have to put some fertile offset on that for it to actually work properly. As you come out here and just have a look, see what space we've got behind us. Drop more behind, but I think that would do. As we drop it off behind there, we shouldn't be too far out. So I'm going to need that. Unload. Left, right, back, right. We hope we've got it. Yep, yeah, looks like it. And we need to put some of these into the mix feeder, but we also need to put the grass in there and we need the silage bale to come around. 
I'm not going to do bulk silage except on the BGA. I'm going to try to bale everything as is the recommended way for British maps. <clears throat> How long it will last is no matter, but uh, my old mate Bipolar Prophet showed me if I need to actually manually a load uh, bales on the trailers how to do it. He's got a wonderful system. But just press that. Yeah, we got it. And you may have noticed if you're already, if you are a regular subscriber to my channel, that the uh, uh, with Paradise Hills didn't go up uh, yesterday. I put up a, one on Sherwood Park, just a quick drive around. I'm playing that off screen, uh, and it's a typical Stevie map. In other words, it's very good indeed. I don't know how he do it, but he crams a lot of stuff into the map, but the maps will never seem crowded. And that is a real skill for map makers. I've played on maps with half the stuff on, and they, and you don't see the elbow room. You expect a little bit of that on British maps, but not quite as bad as some of them are. And it's even but in ready flattened areas for your UPK stuff. I may even play with some UPK stuff like the brewery and such like. I have done some, I've got a shop on the Old Ridge. I've got a, I've got the water pump also Old Ridge. I think we're just going to have another quick look round to check that everything's okay. So I, want, I think I'm going to do, try and do four loads of them. I'll try and get the next one in so it drops in next to the load I've got. Then another one should go in also in a similar position. And then one, as I dump the grass at the front, because that's going to be mowed almost immediately. And I'll start mowing that as soon as I've got this done. I'm going to set up, I think I'm going to set up a course for uh, taking the straw to the compost master. Automatically, I've got the Sammy not doing anything at the moment, so that can, can run that course. And we might as well stop here again now. Put the brake on this time. Right, let's see how we're doing here. He's doing okay. We'll soon be. Oh, he must probably will be. He's going to empty this time. I may just drop. <gasps> oh, excuse me. The empty. Go to empty down to 80. Just. So we don't actually get the stage where we only half empty the combine before we have to go off. Now this is going to be the test actually when he finishes emptying that off. Which he has. Well, come on, you should be putting down to drive now because he's seem to be stuck on I oh, know he's decided to go on a oh, wait a minute. did I put that on the right one no it's yeah I did start that drive on that oh, well. we do about four headlands well on this 
second one they're about to start the third one and then we start going across the field I just want to drive with him to see that he's going to the right place and we haven't made a real mess of the course I also want to just check if we have got weight on the front of this because the, the one problem that I know that uh, David Oldfield has, has beaten him completely is to stop it from losing the weight when you save they sometimes hold the weight and sometimes they just lose it He's okay, I'm going to get that Sammy unhooked and I'm going to hook him up to the uh, forage wagon. And I'll set him, and I'll withdraw a, a course together to take it to the uh, BGA. And I will do that without the trailer on actually. Yep, that's all. That's gonna be okay. It should come back all right. It's all right. Oh, we might just now we unhook this first. We get him unhooked and over to f to field ten. I've got to watch out where this other one's coming. Don't particularly want to crash into him. He should be coming back any time now. We can hook him up to the uh, Bergman. Didn't park it blue all right. I've got the uh, fork slightly in the air. This is a slightly lower powered tractor than the rest, so I'm keeping the, the diffs in. I shouldn't really want them, but uh, I can never tell. And I'm also going to check that. Uh... Yep, that's still on. Check the weights were still on that one, on this one. I'm also take the, the diff locks out now. Because in real life you wouldn't be driving with diff locks in, on in a straight line. Well the damn thing wouldn't steer for a start. Now the steering relies on the differential speed between the wheels on the same axle. If you haven't got that differential speed, they won't steer. There's another little bit of uh, information for you. I think what I may have to do is take this with the uh, forage wagon all the way up there and bring him back and we'll do him in a minute we're just going Oops. check this out again just go and empty some more of these off should get another load here no idea how many many would get off here. I have actually bailed this but I can't remember how many I got off on my test map. I'm doing something fairly unusual on this one. I'm actually testing things out. Maybe trying to make myself look a bit more, more professional. Bad chance of that. Uh, we're almost there. Two more, and we've got another load. We've gone 
empty these off, pick up what's on the field, and then go and pick the, uh, and go and run a course for the, the forage wagon. I'm not certain what, what that course is for. I think I'd better just get, uh, I always have to tend to soil or I've never got rid of that. That's, There's some nice tight driving on this map. And for someone like me who finds it hard to drive, it uh, tests me out nicely. Right, uh, come around with that. No, could get a lot more in here if I put me in here right. If I had to stick them in there right, but then. Um, not that good. I'm going to come out of cab for this because I want to. Hmm. I'm probably better off staying in cab. Right back, come forward again. Try and level it off to where roughly where I want it. Don't think I'm going to get uh, as many in here as I hope for. I don't think I'm, don't think I stand to hope getting the next one in there. In theory, I should, but in practice, I doubt it. I really must move that to cedar. So it's all system score on this one. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon. First day. Work's going well. I think we will actually do the rest of this next time. I'll just pick up what we've got here, check around that everything's okay, and then call it an episode. Oops, I didn't get that on. That's better. Helps if I remember to switch the auto loading on. Let's see how we're doing then with Harvester's fit doing fairly well. Don't look like we had any problems with that so far. I'm about to touch my head so I can touch some wood. I wanted to follow it set the same course from the start with the uh, forage wagon. Yes, it means I'm gonna be using more juice than I need to, but I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> right, let me call it there for him. They will, when I say they will all fall off, I'm going back on again later. Yeah, he's 
doing okay. He's doing okay. I think we have to do another couple of rolls. Right, we've got five minutes. Let's see what we can do with this. And I'm going to need to take this most away with the trailer on. When I get to the other end, I should drop the trailer and do the reverse sans trailer. Mainly so I don't make too big a mess of this. Especially going through the gates here. All these gaps here rather than gates. This one's a gap when I can see it. My big problem is actually picking it out. And we've got it. Nice and wide. Brush the hedge. Oh dear, there's some button it spear straw into the uh, compost master. It's money. That um, conveyor we've got here, I shall move that over to the BGA and I shall set up a course once we've got some compost to take this all the way to the other end of the map to sell. It's a long course, but uh, it pays for itself. It's easy money for what would be waste material. Let's come out wide to get rid of the swing in here. Slow down. And there we go. We haven't hit that sign yet. Well, this one is always a bit drunk, and I think the uh, local vandals have been about. Now, I like this. Sammy, it's rather a nice tractor. It's a nice model without the <coughs> being a hard point special tractor. The only hard point thing I, I got is my mod folder. I will have to get some more just to try it on this map. There's a whole load of them come out now. Always little edges you can add. I'm, just, I'm concentrating, I'm trying to keep it near enough the centre of the road. Because this is a fairly long run. I could go through the mud of the, so, of the side paths, but uh, I don't think it's worthwhile. It takes slightly longer and go on the clean route. I need a very similar course when I do the uh, maze when we uh, forage that. Hopefully if I can get this lot finished off this time, oh, not this time, but during the week, that's what we'll be doing next week. A little bit of a silage episode. And what we'll do is come round here. And I'm going to drop that off here. Just drop the trailer off. Oh, we've got. Shouldn't do that, but for some reason that decides that when I'm in the wagon it wants to go flat out when I come out again. I'm going to come out of cab for this next bit so you can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Now we need to go all the way forward so we've got plenty of space to back in and get everything straight. Now we reverse. It's a long reverse, but I'd rather a long reverse here and get it right. All the way up here, nice and steady. Take it right up to maximum. We actually hit the tip trigger. Always take when you do it without a trailer. Always take it right to the end. Now what I want to do is I'm going to pause the course here. Just hook up again to my trailer 
I'm going to go back and care for this because it's easier. My robe, I've done it there, might have gone a little bit too far. We'll soon find out. No, we've got it. And yet, yeah, we're there. Now we need to go and just pick up. I'm coming out of the cab so I can pick up the uh, final bit of the course. Good, so we start. Whoa, we start recording again. Get back in cab now. Come round. I haven't tried this off screen, so I don't know if this course will work. But we'll find out. And then next time, I would say I won't do any of this until next time. Then you can have a look and see. I don't think we've got time to do it now. We've already been running around half an hour, between half an hour and 40 minutes so far. I think it's plenty long enough for you good people to uh, listen to me rambling on. And we haven't actually looked at the uh, pig farm yet, which we just went past the opening half. And that's another interesting. Uh, little yard to get in and out of. We will be doing animals and once we've got this harvest done and the good and the stuff sold we will get some animals in. And at the end of next harvest we will start selling or not selling we will start um uh trying to pay back the loan. No, I don't think I've actually done that for the bank. I think this one is quite a good one because I, I just gave myself the money, so we just got three million to make, so I don't have to do that. Forget I said that. seem to have crashed or uh, burnt so far. It's a bit worrying, especially as I haven't got the uh, map auto save on this. Basically because if you're using the uh, legal uh, bail wagon, every time map auto save fires and saves, it uh, interrupts the, uh, the lock mechanism and the bales go everywhere. This is the one I have most trouble with, is coming back in. I always seem to either go too far, or not quite far enough. Oh, that seems to be alright. And we we'll actually put this up here to end it. That's field 10 to... Oh, come on. Field 10, try again, 2, come on past, and hopefully that will work, and that will be, I think it's field work, we need that on, so we actually, Field 10 to compost, no, field 10, we want, ah, uh, what we want to do is, no, to reduce this, we want to go to that one, then add in field 10 to compost, and they should combine, okay. I'm just find it where it is, so we're just going to start to see what happens. 
Now we need to find where the first point is. Oh, the first waypoint there. Oh, it's up here somewhere, isn't it? Just got to hope this thing will work as it should do. That's here, we'll soon find out. Yes, it's dropped. I'm going to let him just run around a bit. May not pick anything up because it might take exactly the same course of baler and miss the same bits of the baler missed. Right, we'll have a look at that uh, next time and then we'll go on to finish the rest of this off. Now, hopefully, he's actually following the course correctly. Oh, yeah, he looks like a crossover here. Alright, with that, I'm, I'm, oh, we're just uh, get rid of the, uh, all the pretty lines. Get rid of this lot. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like. If you're not a subscriber and wish to subscribe, feel free to do so. I'd be always happy to have fresh subscribers. More people to, or any more people to uh, entertain, so to speak. If you have any comments, questions, queries, suggestions, feel free to do so. And with that, it's Merman saying cheerio for now. Cheerio.